Now we will discuss about all the applied aspects of respiratory system and specific importance will be given to the hypoxia chapter. So first coming to the respiratory dysrhythmias, there are two important dysrhythmias physiologically we have to remember. One is the Kine-Stokes breathing, another one is Biot's breathing. What is Kine-Stokes breathing? What happens here is there is cycles of increase in tidal volume and gradual decrease in tidal volume. The tidal volume keeps on increasing and finally it keeps on decreasing like this. This is the tidal volume that is increasing and decreasing and followed by a period of apnea. This increase and decreasing pattern is called as crescendo decrescendo pattern. There is an increase and decrease. This pattern is crescendo decrescendo pattern. So whenever you see this word in the question, don't read further. You can always go in for a kind Stokes breathing. So what are all the examples for this? The examples are bilateral cortical disease, congestive heart failure, sleep in high altitude and premature infants. So in all of this, this kinds of pattern happens. This kind of pattern can be explained in congestive heart failure where there is an increase in circulatory time. Where there is an increase in circulatory time. What is that increase in circulating time means? Uh, here we have represented with two diagrams that is the PCO2 of lung and PCO2 of the respiratory neurons. So, there is a lag between the lung blood and the respiratory arriving at the respiratory center. So, what is happening here? Let us try to understand. First, see the red curve. There has been accumulation of PCO2 in the lung. Ideally, they should reach the brain immediately. But that is not happening. They are reaching the point here. They are reaching the point a little delayed, this blue curve. So, whenever they reach the brain a little delayed, what will happen? So much of carbon dioxide would have accumulated. Now, all of them are reaching the brain. When all of them are reaching the brain at the same time, what is going to happen? The brain gets stimulated and it will cause severe amount of inspiration and expiration faster. That is hyperventilation. So, the person will start hyperventilating. Whenever he is hyperventilating, what will happen to the carbon dioxide levels? There is a carbon dioxide washout. If the carbon dioxide is washed out, there is no stimulus for the respiration. So, after this, there will be a severe carbon dioxide washout. And in this period, what will happen? There will be a period of apnea because carbon dioxide being washed out. And during apnea, he is not breathing. What will happen now? Now carbon dioxide starts to accumulate. And again, it will reach the brain a little later. And this cycle keeps on repeating itself, giving rise to the crescendo decrease crescendo pattern in case of kind strokes breathing. Now coming to the second set of breathing, that is Biot's breathing. Here what happens is there is near equal volumes of tidal volume. Tidal volumes are near equal but there are intermittent periods of apnea. Initially this was identified in meningitis patients but right now it is more predominant in medullary disorders. It was identified by the scientist Boyot in meningitis patients initially. So that is why it is called as disease meningitis. But right now it is called as Boyot's breathing. 